Whether you consider them trends or fads, whatever word you want to use, there's certain things that have gained popularity in the automotive world and eventually fade away. Lakewood side pipes, dice on the mirror, neon license plate frames, and huge sound systems are just a couple examples. Now, some of these trends may eventually make their way back. Some of them, thankfully, though, are gone forever. And speaking of gone forever, today we're talking about 15 trends in the car world I would love to see go away in 2023. And we're going to throw one bonus one in at the end that I think we all can agree on. First on my list is going to be the whole stance craze. Now, I get negative camber for handling. It definitely helps. Drift cars, absolutely, because you have to keep that contact patch. But camber, just for the sake of camber, has to go away. These cars are very dangerous on the road, and they're just going to tear up tires to boot. Please let it go away in 2023. Next on my list is gonna be the whole stretch tire thing. And that does seem to be going away a little bit, but again, it's a safety issue. It's like those tires are not meant to fit on those wheels. And when you stretch them that much, it's very hard to get them to actually beat up and one good pothole and you're gonna have a blowout. Next on my list is one of all the Mustang owners can definitely agree on, and that's the Mustang crashing jokes. You know, okay, we get it. Lots of Mustangs crash leaving car shows, but so does everybody else. Yeah, we get it. It was funny for a while, but Again, the joke is old, just let it die. Next on my list really isn't a trend, but I think it's time to let go of the Mustang name on the Mach-E. With the 650 coming out, let's focus on the new Mustang rear wheel drive sports car we all love, and let's just cut that Mustang name off and just call it the Mach-E. That name fits well, and again, I get the whole reasoning behind it, but I think it's time for that Mustang name to go away, and so we have the Mustang be what the Mustang should be, and the Mach-E be a separate car. Next on my list is this whole fake engine noise thing. Now Ford's done it before, they've actually pumped some noise through the speakers, but now you're seeing electric cars with speakers on them to imitate the sound of an engine. If you want an engine, buy an engine. If you want an electric car, it's gonna sound like an electric car, but please get rid of these fake exhaust noises. Next is gonna be the whole crackle tune shooting flame thing that a lot of people are doing now at car shows. And you only see it at car shows, you don't see it anywhere else, but again, there's no reason to make your car crackle and shoot flames for no other reason except to do it. I mean, most of the time, those tunes are not even very good anyway, and you're probably costing yourself power. But again, that's one thing I'd love to see go away in 2023. So it's 2023, let's stop with the overpriced used cars. And I'm not talking about like collectibles, like box bodies and stuff like that. They're gonna keep going up, they are what they are. But people paying sticker or above for a used F-150 or a used Camry or something ridiculous like that. It's like, I understand supply and demand and there were some issues, but supply has caught up. So let's get rid of these overpriced used cars. Now let's talk about light bars. And I get it, you know, if you're going off-road or you're back in the woods or whatever, light bars are amazing, they allow you to see everything. You don't need them on the highway. If you're driving on a public road, turn your light bar off. You're literally just blinding everybody near you for no reason whatsoever. So that's one trend I would definitely like to see go away. Another one is eBay parts. See, all these people all the time talk about their $50 coiler because they bought on eBay and then wonder why they broke six months later. It's like, if you want good parts, spend the money. I mean, obviously we work for retail, but again, if you want a bit good parts, spend the money on good parts. When you buy this Chinese stuff off eBay, it's just not gonna work. Let's also get rid of two steps at car shows. Now, two steps serves a purpose. It's designed for drag racing. It holds your RPM so you get a consistent launch. It's not designed so you can rev your car at a car show and just stand on it the whole time. Again, let's use it for what it's designed for, and that's the drag strip. Another trend I'd like to see go away is up badging. Now, I get, you know, if you want to add that Mach 1 bumper or that GT500 style hood to your GT or EcoBoost or whatever, by all means, go for it. But leave the badges off. You don't have to put Shelby badges on your V6. Don't put Cobra badges on your GT or your four-cylinder or anything like that. It's like, leave the badges with the vehicles that should have them. Again, by all means, if you like the style, go for it. But leave the badges on the cars they belong on. Another thing on the list I'd love to see go away is gonna be tinted windshields and chrome window tint. Now, a lot of my Southern friends love their tinted windshields, but honestly, you can't see at night. I don't care how good your vision is, when your windshield is at 5% and it gets dark out, you're not seeing anything. And I know with the sun, you know, having the sun bar at the top and stuff like that, 100%, but the whole windshield at 5% is just a dangerous thing. And chrome tint is the same way. And thankfully that's going away for the most part, but again, don't put chrome tint on your car. Next on my list is gonna be race car parts on cars that aren't raced. I see this all the time, you know, full length cowl hoods on cars with stock engines. 
parachutes, bead locks. I mean, I understand you guys like the look, but again, if you want the look, get the power to go with it. You know, as far as adding these race car parts, there's no benefit on putting them on a stock car. Leave the race car parts for the race cars. Last on my list and definitely not least is gonna be rolling coal. Now again, if you don't know what that means, it's all these diesel vehicles that simply blow black smoke everywhere for the sake of blowing black smoke everywhere. I mean, if the vehicle's tuned right, it's not gonna smoke like that, so it's being done on purpose. And it's definitely something I wanna see go away in 2023. And then my final one, and again, I'm hoping that we all can agree on this one, and that is let's stop with the clout chasing. Let's stop with these street takeovers and these stuff like that. It's like people are getting hurt. People are losing events, they're losing their cars. When you're leaving cars and coughing, you feel the need to do a burnout, you're gonna cost people that event. You know, there's a, a huge cars and coffee down south that people keep messing up. And it's like, you get an event, you get three to 4,000 cars, and because you feel the need to do a burnout leaving that car show, now they can't have it anymore. And you're taking that away from everybody just for a video for TikTok or Instagram or whatever. It's like, please, in 2023, let's get back to having cars be fun again. Let's stop worrying about the views and simply enjoy the hobby.